It's Elle here from Beyond Expectations. In this video, I'm going to be discussing fat loss and how do you know when you're actually losing the fat off your body? I'm going to read out the question and then I'll give you my answer and it goes like this. How do you know the percentage of fat you lose and the percentage of muscle mass you put on? This is a fantastic question. So thank you so much. How do you know how much body fat you're actually losing and how much muscle mass you actually have on your body or put on? Now, the way that you learn about this, the simple answer is simply that you need to have a body fat scale. So what is the difference between a body fat scale versus a regular scale? A regular scale measures your weight. A body fat scale measures your weight your body fat, your muscle mass, and quite often how much water your body is retaining. Now these are critical elements and components to know in order to reshape and transform your body for the long term. Now why do you need to know this rather than just a weight scale, which is your traditional method of weight loss? Most people, particularly uh, the media, always perpetuates weight loss. They go, this person has lost 100 pounds, this person has lost 50 pounds, this person has lost 20 pounds. That's important. Well, the trouble with just losing weight is weight can be many things. It can be muscle, it can be fluid, it can be fat. So what happens if you just lose water weight? Well, you'll just lose the water that's on your body and uh, quite often that will be five pounds and you'll gain it all because it was just five pounds worth of water weight. What happens if you lose weight and you actually get into your muscle stores? And this is a big mistake a lot of people make who love to do cardio. So they do a huge amount of cardio. They're not just burning fat, they're actually turning their body into a catabolic state, particularly if they're female, because we don't produce the testosterone amount that males do, and our body produces a stress hormone, and we end up in a catabolic state. And the catabolic state is simply put that your muscle starts, sorry, your body starts to break down muscle as fuel rather than fat. Now, if your body starts to use muscle for fuel rather than fat, what will happen is the less muscle you have on your body, the lower your metabolism will be. So what does that mean for you? Who cares, right? What does it mean? No, it is a very big problem because if you start burning your muscle away, your metabolism will plummet. So you're going to have to do even more and more exercise to be able to not only maintain your physique, but you won't be able to lose any more weight. And this is a big problem that I see a lot of women face. They do far too much cardio. They start uh, putting their body into a catabolic state. They start burning their muscle and their metabolism drops. You need to elevate your metabolism because there is going to come a point, whatever the case may be, that you won't be able to exercise. If it never happens to you, that's fantastic. But if it does, it'll quite often be brought about by your own sickness, a sickness in your family. You may have a child, you may not have a child, you may have a sick family member, whatever the case may be. You may lose your job, you may not have access to the gym. The list is endless. So you cannot rely purely on exercise to be able to maintain your shape and physique. You need to elevate your resting fat burning rate. The way that you do this is through weighing yourself on a body fat scale. It's very important to know how much fat you actually have on your body. Now, personally, any brand will do that will suit your budget. Uh, in the making of Beyond Expectations, I used one particular brand and then that eventually died and I had to use another particular brand. Now, please do note that different brands will weigh you differently. So the body fat scale that I used for the making of Beyond Expectations actually weighed me lighter than the body fat scale I currently have now. So do bear that in mind. The important thing is that you're consistent. You only weigh once a week. This is very important because a lot of women like to weigh themselves every single day, not realizing that you need to give your body time to change. It's like checking your savings account and expecting it to skyrocket. You need those savings to slowly multiply over time. Same with reshaping and transforming your body. 
once a week same time each week uh, and make sure you do it then for me currently it's on a friday uh, when i was making build expectations i did it on a sunday whatever is suitable for your particular schedule and do not change your day do not change your time do your very best to keep it on the same day at the same time because that's going to give you more of a consistent result but be aware that different scales will may you will weigh you differently so don't be too hung up on the numbers but it's important that it is going down and particularly your body fat because your body fat is an indication of your body reshaping and transforming and you want your muscle mass to be increasing you don't necessarily want to become bigger and bulkier but you don't want to lose the muscle you currently have because if you look at an anatomical chart we all look like this we all have that defined physique underneath the problem is the body fat so you want to get rid of the body fat you want to decrease your body fat and that will ultimately increase uh, your muscle mass which is going to elevate your resting fat burning rate and that is where the battle is going to be won or lost with reshaping transforming your physique and keeping it off for the long term for me i'm 40 i made beyond expectations in 2010 we're now in 2020 and i've maintained my shape and physique from making sure that I lower my body fat percentage and maintain my muscle mass so that I'm able to maintain my physique uh, through nutrition and not have to worry about doing endless amounts of cardio, falling into the trap of catabolizing my muscle and therefore my metabolism plummets. So I really do hope this helps you. Grab yourself a body fat scale. If you want more information of what to pick, what you need, head on over to elite.com. In our free book, Seven Rules from Beyond Expectations, we have a detailed information on what you need to reshape, transform your body when looking at a body fat scale. Thank you so much. We really do hope this helps. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Head on over to elite.com. Grab your free copy of Seven Rules to help you find yourself a body fat scale uh, thanks for stopping by i really do appreciate it hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notifications if you haven't already i'll see you in my next one thanks bye